Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting. And I have a true passion for preparing students for ASQ certification. But today what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the topic, what is uh, the CCT body of knowledge? CCT Certified Calibration Technician, a very great certification to have. And it will really help your career. Well, they break the body of knowledge into five elements. Who are they? It's ASQ, of course, a wonderful organization. Uh, the first element of the body of knowledge is ge general metrology. They ask 30 questions on that in the ASQ exam. Measurement systems, 26%. Calibration systems, uh, not 26%, 26 questions. I'm sorry about that. Calibration systems, 30 questions. Measurement uncertainty, that's the toughest part of the body of knowledge right there. 24 questions. Quality systems and standards, 15. And they give you beta, beta questions, 10 of those. Uh, what's a beta question? They'll infiltrate those questions into your test. You won't know which ones they are, but if you miss them, they won't count against your score. Of course, if you get them right, they're not going to help you either. Okay? They're graded, but they don't... Uh, because they want to know what the pass rate is on each of the questions. They'll see how much time it took you to take those questions. And uh, what else? Uh, oh, if you have any complaints, you can write about those questions. And they'll consider, do we use these questions on future exams or not? And they'll have a lot of data on those. So anyway, that equates to 135 questions when you take the ASQ certification exam, CCT exam. It's a four and a half hour exam. It's two minutes per question, which isn't bad for an ASQ exam. It's a little more than average, probably. And so this tells you, this bar chart shows you the same thing here. And as you can see, measurement uncertainty applied math. It's the most difficult element of the body of knowledge for most students. It's the, it's the element that makes people study or fail the most. That measurement uncertainty is very, very analytical. Uh, calibration systems, of course, you'd expect that to be pretty high in general metrology, uh, those are all test on very heavily. It is not an easy exam. When I took this exam, I thought, wow, this is one of the hardest ASQ exams I've taken, I felt. It was uh, pretty challenging. So if you're going to take this, don't take it lightly. Now, maybe this will help you more than anything. I wrote a, I created a class to meet the requirements of the body of knowledge. And you can see the title of the class and how long it takes for that lecture, etc. And then at the end, we go over this uh, primer. I lecture on the primer chapters also, especially on the test questions uh, for those chapters is what I do. So you can see how to, how to do those. And uh, I always spend more time on the chapters that students struggle with more. So chapter two, notice I spent about two and a half hours on that one. And uh, there's uh, chapter four. I spend about an hour. Chapter three, too. I spend quite a bit of time on this. Uh, chapter 5, an hour and 34 minutes, so definitely the most difficult is chapter 2 and chapter 5. But I help you on all those, and you can see I uh, give you some practice tests also. So this will give you a pretty good idea. You don't, I don't have all the lectures to the body of knowledge, but what I don't lecture on, we cover when we review the primer. So I'll move out of the way. If you want to put that on hold, you can take more time and look that over. But that uh, pretty much covers the body of knowledge. Thank you for joining me in this video. Remember, I've passed most of the ASQ certification exams, including the CCT. There it is right there. And uh, I would be more than honored to help you on your ASQ certification journey. If you have any questions, please contact me. Otherwise, have a great day and goodbye.